Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish, and I'm reviewing here Disney. I'm just going to do one general overall video up for this chart because uh, <laughs> there's a lot of trades going on in this right now. So let's just talk about the ones first that I called for yesterday. So yesterday, it was pretty late in the afternoon. It's after 2.30, whatever time it was. I called the 135 calls out till November and December because I, I, I felt 100% conviction that the earnings would report well and the stock would gap up. And I thought 135 was a good level. So here, here it was. So it flew over that. I mean, it absolutely flew. In fact, last night I think it was high was 142 or 143. We'll look at that in a minute. Anyways, high today was 140.25. It, it could never get over that today. And, and there's no real reason for it. Like this isn't anything at all. Um, but let's just look where it was last night. Oh, I thought it was at 142 or 143. No, it was 141.84 this morning. 141. Well, I thought it was higher than it was last night. But anyways, it still, it still, it still was a really nice move. So everybody that did the 135s, getting back to today, was up this morning into the open. And actually, depending what price you paid for them yesterday, you might be up a little bit here or flat or up a little bit, even with the drop off today, because again, this is above the strike. Anyways, long story short, we looked at this as a day trade today, aggressively out of the gate, that stopped, then looked at it again as a second retake, and that one fell through the stop. And I think some people added, some people stayed with it, some people gave it up. I, I don't know where this goes. This has got one more hour left in the day. I don't think this is going to continue falling into the close. I think this could have a rally back into the close. <laughs> I mean, over 138, which sounds crazy, but I think that it could. So I think that Disney today is going to close with a tail. Now, in the trading room this morning, I said if this flip today went green, like went from red to green, let me get rid of this, that this would for surely get to the dream, dream target next week. Well, we're not gonna do that. So I think we rally up and through 138 here into the close, but I don't see us going green in the last hour. It's too big of a retracement to happen here overall in the day for the stock, but this stock is not a short. There were day traders that came in and shorted this today to fill the gap. This was not a short, it is a long, the option calls I called worked. The ones out till the past today, I didn't call anything for an expiration for today, but the ones out for November, December um, are, 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 are really setting up nicely because I believe this stock gets bought and it, this could even get bought here between now and into the close and then Monday. It's just a question of what the level is gonna be uh, because there's just no reason for this to not continue higher. But the problem is that once selling, and this is why I prefer to short, once the pressure starts to come in like this, like, like, uh, or like, uh, how do I describe it? Yeah, like this. Like once pressure starts to come into a stock, like pushing, pushing, pushing it down, it's very hard to lift it through. And the problem is the buying came into the stock ahead of time. It's been getting bought all in here for the last few months. Even it's been getting bought all year, quite frankly. And then it got bought up last night, and then there wasn't the follow through of the buying, which is what you need to see to have it go long in the day as a day trade. But I believe the buying does come in and scoop it up very, very quickly. Now, again, we'll see if this can actually get up over 138 here and close over 138. I would like to see this rally above and beyond and through 138 here into the close today. So that's what I'm looking for. I don't need it for these ones to work into next week, but I do like Disney as a long. I've been bullish on this for a long, long time. Um, it just, it just is, it's a good buy. 150 is in sight at some point. I don't know if it'll happen between now and the end of the year, but it could, so. And it's really not that far away, and it was closer to it this morning into the open than it was obviously at this point now, here at 137, but really the stock can move. You see that here today. We're gonna have to see how the day ends up. Got an hour left Friday, going into a holiday weekend. Uh, bond market is closed on Veterans Day. And if you trade Monday, you better be careful with what you do. So I decided to close the trading room because I just don't think there's gonna be anything to do Monday. Take the day off Monday, relax, have a nice holiday weekend, and I'll see everybody next week. Webinar Monday night, 
and class next weekend. Only two more classes for the Golden Gap between now and the end of the year. Have a great weekend, everybody. Email me at Melissa at thestockswoosh.com.